Hello there, YouTube. Today we are going to be talking about um, math and how to do math inside Java and how to do it in your IDE with your classes and your functions and all that kind of stuff. So today uh, we're going to create our first package, as usual. Um, please note that when you do um, when you do do cut this kind of stuff, there is a utility function built into Java called the math class, and you can access it typing math dot and then et cetera, et cetera. But uh, there's a bunch of functions in there, such as power, like to get powers, to get remainders, a bunch of different stuff. But um, we're not going to use this in this one. So we're going to call it mathematic math math helper. Why not? I can't be bothered to spell today. So once it's all good, uh, we are going to expand it down. We're going to create our first class, also called math helper. So what this program is going to do first off is we're going to create our public static void main, as usual, void main string args. Okay, so there's our first function. Now, what this class is going to do, and we're going to start a different, a little bit of a different style today to get you guys into the habit of commenting your code, because that's always something that, that people really don't do, but it's really, really necessary, and if, if someone else is trying to read your code and your code isn't very legible, then you're, they're screwed. So we're going to describe what this class does or what this, this method will do before we actually write the code. So first, we're going to get scanner for input, okay? Then after that, we're going to have two variables in this input. So this is going to say, first. well, first we need to tell the user to put some input in. So we're going to say send message to user. And then we're going to say um, place place input in var, and then send another message to a user to get two numbers, message to user, and place input in var again. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get an output number. So we're going to, there's going to be, we're going to go through one, two, three, four, five different mathematical operations today. We're going to go through addition, subtraction, multiplica multiplication, division, and modulo. Now these, these operations are used everywhere, and I will describe them today in detail. So we're going to say, here's this line's going to be um, perform operation and send output. Okay, so that's what this class is going to do. Now we're going to go through this line by line and fill in the details. So get scanner for input. That's obvious. We've done this before. Scanner scanner equals new scanner system. Oops, system dot in. Okay. So what this does again is it creates an instance of the scanner class called scanner, so we can reference it in this method with the word scanner, and it's going to get it from the input system in. Now here's something in Eclipse that most people don't use or they don't know. Typically up to here we've been doing we've been importing it up here, uh, right here with an import Java dot util dot scanner. But sometimes that can get really annoying to type, and it just, it's just, it's really, really not nice, because you have to keep doing it over and over again, and sometimes you forget where things are, and you have to go reference other things. So something in Eclipse that you can do, and I don't know about other IDEs if they do this, but Eclipse does, is if you hit, if you're on Mac, Command-Shift-O, or if you're on Windows, Control-Shift-O, it'll, it'll pop this up if it can't, if there's multiple instances. So as you can see, there's four different instances of the scanner class that we have at, available to this program right now. Now this is the one that we're looking for, because Java, it, Java doesn't really know, but it's just kind of saying this is probably the closest match that you'll want because it's used a lot. But there are these ones that you could use as well, but don't use them for this class because they serve other functions, and if you want to know what they do, you could go and read the Java docs on them. So we're just going to hit enter, and there we go, it's imported it. We don't really need to type all that, so that's something very fast and easy to do in Java. So send a message to your user, so this is going to say system.out.println. What this is going to do is pop up a message in console to them, and we're, we're, it takes an argument of a string. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, please enter a number. Okay? And then we're going to place that input into a variable. So this variable is going to be an int, because we're not going to accept doubles in this, except we might, we might change it up later on. Uh, and we're going to call it number one. Something else that people really don't do that they should get in the habit of doing is making your variable names not... To, to get away from stuff like this, where you do in n, in n2, stuff like that, because that's not readable. And if you don't want to comment your code, at least name your variables correctly. Okay? Uh, so what this one is going to do is we're going to get the next, um, the next integer from scanner. 
So scanner.nextInt. There we go. So there's your number one. Now we're going to say, we're going to say uh, send another message. So what we can do here is if we click three times, it'll highlight the whole row. We could copy and we could paste that. Something else that we can do is these kinds of shortcuts. So th this is um, right now on Mac. I'm not sure on the Windows, but I'm using Option and Shift to go one word at a time. Um, Command and Shift will do whole lines at a time, like whole chunks of phrases. Okay, so we're going to backspace that. And what also we can do, again, I'm not sure, it's probably something like Alt and Control on Windows, uh, but if we hit Command and Option on Mac and we hit Down or Up, it will copy that line down or up respectively. So as you can see, this line's highlighted, so I'll hit Command, Option, and Up, and it'll copy a message up. So here we got this one, and now we're going to hit Option, and we're going to go down, and we're going to hit Down, and it's going to move that line down. So it's just, uh, this is why it's good to use an IDE as opposed to using something like a, like a basic text editor, because IDEs have all these kinds of things built into them and they know what you're trying to do, as opposed to a text editor that really doesn't, like if you were to use WordPad or something like that and save it as a .java file, it, it really isn't like this. It's not quite the same and it's very, very, it doesn't help you at all. Anywho, back to the program. Uh, so we're going to get the second number here. So number two equals another scanner dot next int. Okay, so now we have two numbers. Now perform operations. So what we're going to do in this one first is we're going to get the sum. So we're going to create an int sum equals number one plus number two. Simple as that. And what this is going to do is this is just going to add number one to number two and put it into here. Simple enough. Uh, we're going to create another one called difference. And it's going to be number one minus number two. Again, simple, simple stuff. Um, we're going to get the product now, int product, same kind of thing, equals number one times number two. Okay, so that's multiplication right there. Uh, int, what are we going to do? Quotient, number one divided by number two. Okay, and now this is, now these are all pretty self explanatory. It's pretty. You know what the sum is, you know what the difference is, you know what this means and what this means and what this means. It's just typical stuff like that. But this one's a little different, okay? So this one's going to be the remainder. Okay, oops. Remainder. Now what, what this is, is this operation, this operation, um, this operand, this mathematical operand, which is what we call these kinds of things, um, it's, it's, called a, it's called a modulo, okay? Now what it does... It's a, it's a percent sign first off. Now what this does is if you kind of look at a percent sign, it does look like this division sign, but it has a little bit of extra added on to it. So what it does is it, it divides these two numbers and it doesn't care what the quotient is between these two numbers. It throws that number away and it says how much is left after you divide these two numbers. And that number is what gets put into this variable here. So this is the remainder of these two numbers and this is called a modulo. Okay. So it's not too difficult, but it is something that most people, that, that it, it's very useful to use, and some people don't actually know that this is a modulo. But now you know. So those are all the different types of mathematical operations, and now we're just going to send some more output to the user. Okay, we're going to say your sum, wait, no, we're going to say, we're going to make this a little more explicit. The sum of, we're going to say plus number one plus and plus number two is, and then we're going to say sum. Okay? Why did that do that? Actually, that's okay. Put one line though. There. So, there's the sum. Now we're going to copy this down again, or remember, command option down, or control alt down, I think it is. And we're going to copy it down five times as well. Four times down, one, two, three, okay. Now we're going to say the difference of number one and number two is difference. Spell it right, no, I didn't. D I F F E R A C. There we go. Now the product of number one and number two is product, okay. The quotient of number one and number two is quotient. And the Remainder, number one and number two, 
is remainder. Okay, oops. Okay, so now we're going to run this program. Run as application. It's going to pop up in console here. Enter a number. So let's enter 5 for some simplicity's sake. Please enter another number, 5. The sum of 5 and 5 is 10. The difference of 5 divided by 5 is 0. The product of 5 times 5 is 25. The quotient of 5 times 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And the remainder of 5 and 5 is 0. Okay, so there's two numbers. Let's just change this to another, just so it doesn't look so s similar. So we'll run it again. We'll try two different numbers, just, for, just to make sure. So if I put a 10 in first, and I put a 5 in second. Okay, so here we go. So the sum again, 10 plus 5 is 15. That's right. The difference, 10 minus 5 is 5. That's right. Let's scroll this down so you guys can see this. Uh, 10 times 5 is 50. That's right. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So it goes into it evenly here. It's So that, that's, that's good. So now, since it goes into it evenly, there's none left over. So 10 remainder 5 is 0 because there's no more left over. Get it? If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, I'm going to try uploading, maybe maybe I'll do a series on uh, Java, like um, bucket plugin tutorials, like Minecraft tutorials. Teach you guys a little bit about that because I've been doing that for about a year now. So I might do some uh, tutorials on how to do that kind of stuff uh, to teach you guys. But uh, for this episode, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.